In this video, I'm going to start working on posts fragment. So to give you a demo of what that fragment looks like, I'm going to log in here and uh, click the navigation drawer and go to posts over here. So this is post fragment. This is just some random data generated by the REST API that we're using. And uh, each of these posts are unique to different users. So if I was to log out and log in with some other user and go to posts fragment, uh, I would see different posts. So did I log in with the same user? I used number seven there. Let's use number one now just to make sure. So these are these are different different posts. So this data is coming from the same REST API, the JSON placeholder REST API. Uh, if I scroll down to posts right here, and I was to filter on a particular user. So the URL is actually, let's see, it's down here. So get, you just select a post and then a particular user ID. So if it's for the user with user ID four, you would type that and you get a bunch of random, randomly generated posts. So that's what's being retrieved here. These are the randomly generated posts. And I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you an example of how to specify dependencies inside of a particular subcomponent and then use those dependencies only in that subcomponent so that those dependencies are only accessible in the scope of that particular subcomponent. So I wanted to make sure I showed you an example of that. So this fragment, uh, post fragment, will be querying a different part of the API, which is the API that I just showed you right here. So we're gonna need to create a, a new object, a new post model object, a new API class for retrofit, and then add a new module and add that to the uh, the main subcomponent. So if I pull up the diagram, that's going to be this subcomponent here, and it's going to go inside of the main module. If all of that was too much, if I said too much there and you're confused now, don't worry about it. Just follow along and it's all going to make sense. So the first step is designing that model. So we're going to go into the models package, right click, new Java class, I'm going to call it post since that's the, the data that we're going to be uh, retrieving from the API. And I could sit here and I could type this out, but you've already seen what it's like to build a model class for retrofit. So I don't really see much use in doing it again. So I'm just going to go to the source code for the project. You can go to the branch for this video, or you could select the master branch and get the code. So I'm just going to models. I'm going to go to post and I am literally just going to copy this whole thing. Uh, like I said, this is, should be nothing new to you. It's going to be the same as when we built the user class and I'm just going to paste that in. So there is our model. I'm going to have to get some imports and uh, that's it. So this is modeling the post object that you saw from the API. We have a user ID, an ID, a title, and a body. That's what it means to be a post. Now I need to build the network API request for that particular um, request. So I'm creating a new package inside the network package. I'm going to call it main, since this is going to be part of the main component. So I'm keeping things nice and separated. Remember in the auth package inside the network package, we have the auth API. That's the request for the auth authentication kind of stuff. Uh, so now in the main, main package, I'm going to create another new class. This is going to be an interface. This is going to be called main API. So just kind of keeping those naming conventions. Uh, this So this one is main API, that one is auth API. Auth API is used in the auth scope, which we haven't, we haven't scoped things yet, but it's in the auth component. And this is gonna be in the main component or later on when we look at scopes, it's going to be the auth scope. So I'm just gonna write a comment first of all here. It's gonna be uh, posts. This is just what the request is gonna look like. User ID equals one. So it's kind of just an example. Then I want to use the get request, so annotate with add get. I'm going to return a flowable of type list post, so a list of post objects. It's going to be a flowable. I'll just say get posts from user. And I'm going to need one parameter. It's going to get those imports. So I need at query. Notice I'm using a different annotation in here. I'll uh, show you in just a second if you're not sure what I mean. Um, so this is. Uh, Oh, looks like I'm getting an error. Did I write something wrong here? Get, oh, here, probably this, posts. No, that wasn't it. Uh, integer, so query, integer, ID. That should be fine unless I'm missing a bracket or something. Not sure what's going on here. I am not sure what's happening here. There is not an issue. Okay, just out of curiosity, let's go to the source code. Uh, it doesn't look like I have a typo there unless I'm just losing my mind. 
So if I go to main, I go to main API, and I literally just copy this, and I paste this in. I don't know what I did. I had some kind of a typo there that I didn't notice. But anyway, there's our uh, flowable get post from user. Uh, so notice I'm using a different annotation here. If you look at the auth API, this is just retrofit stuff. This is how the request is built. The at path will, um, if, if we compare the different uh, requests, this one uses post and then a question mark, and then it appends user ID equals four. But if I was to look at the users section, so if I go to users, oops, user, go back to the API here, go to, let's see, users, or just a slash one. That's what a path does. So the path will just append a slash, whereas the uh, at query will append a question mark to the request. So that's just different kind of requests. That's retrofit stuff. Uh, you should already know that if you're watching this video. Uh, so now we are ready to move on to the next part. And that is adding a new module and adding a new dependency. So I'm going into the DI package. I'm going into the main package. I'm going to create a new module inside the main package. This is going to be called main module. Uh, I need to annotate this with at module. And then I need to come down here and add that new API as a dependency. So we haven't scoped it yet. So I'm just going to add provides static main API provide main API and I need that retrofit instance so retrofit retrofit return retrofit dot create and we need to create that main API so main API dot class and there is our dependency so this is going to be a dependency that only exists within the main component it can't be accessed from the auth component so that's where it's going to live uh, now the last step is adding this module to the subcomponent, so to the main activity subcomponent. So I'm just coming into our activity builders module. There's main activity, and now I'm just going to specify that main module that we just added. And now that dependency is going to be accessible inside of our main component. So I, I can inject it into the view model. So if I look into here, I'll be able to inject it into main activity. I'll be able to inject it into profile view model, profile fragment, wherever I want inside of anything that's inside the main component. So now in the next video, I'm going to start building posts fragment. So the fragment that I showed you at the beginning of the video, that's this fragment right here, and the view model that goes along with it. And then we can inject our dependency and make our request to the API.